Okay, it's something a little bit different. Um, this is a fun little project, which I thought you guys might be interested in. Um, uh, and the, the reason that um, I was interested in building this was because um, it's basically made out of scrap. Um, it's obviously, it's a miniature drill press, as you can probably see. Um, and um, I'm not gonna show you how I made it because it's a perfectly good video with the one I watched to actually make this. And I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, and basically, it, as I said, it's basically made out of scrap. Now there's a few items that were bought for it. This is a 775 motor. This came from Banggood. And the guy who made the video for showing you how to make this, he obviously loves this motor because there's lots of projects on his site which use it. Uh, they were worth checking out. It's, it's, um, generally, um, he, uses, he just makes this stuff up from scrap, which is which is pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, you can get these on Banggood. They cost about six quid at the moment, six pounds. Um, and the only other bought item on here um, is the these. Now these are cabinet draw rails, ball, ball race ones, 45 mil ball bearing draw runners. And I got those from Amazon and they cost six quid. Now the rest of this, this is basically all, all scrap wood that uh, I happen to have um, in my, I, I keep scrap wood off cuts because you never know when they're going to be of use. This metal uh, aluminium cast table, this was off of an old Proxon, um, little Proxon mini bench saw which burnt out years and years ago and I saved parts I thought could be used and this was the bed off of that. So that that's just bolted down onto some wooden strips. This little chuck I had kicking around, I don't even know where I got that from. I mean, I'd make an adapter up so it would fit on the shaft of the motor. Um, the handle, this was this came out of an old flatbed scanner, which got scrapped many years ago, and I kept it because I thought it could be useful for something. Um, and the spring, again, I've, I've, I've no idea where that came from. I've been looking at it, it probably came off of a bit of furniture. But I, whenever I come across springs, I bung them in a box and keep them because springs can be very useful. Um, <clears throat> and that really is about all there is to it. Um, as I said, what I, there are many videos on YouTube telling you how to make drill presses. But what I liked about this one was the fact that he used these cabinet rails i thought that was an absolutely brilliant idea really 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 useful you know really good good idea um so this motor the 775 is a 12 to 36 volt dc motor uh and it'll give you 3500 to 9000 rpm um so obviously there's a variety of different sort of power sources that you can it doesn't draw a lot of current so you know um old laptop power supply would probably run it perfectly okay you know whatever you've got um, I'm actually running it, let's turn it around, sitting on the side, um, let you see what it's like on this side, but very basic, this is just lumps of wood that have been screwed together to, to give you the basic frame, um, but uh, I'm actually running off of this, now I built this up, this is a, a, a battery box, and it's got a um, DC motor controller in it inside, which again is from Banggood, uh, that's a 9 to 60 volt DC motor controller, and that only costs six pounds as well. So, it's, it, you know, even if you want to go down this route, it's cheap as chips. The reason I want to do the power off of these ba of, of battery boxes, it makes it all portable. I can just take it wherever I want to, want to um, and um, use it wherever I want to. Um, now, you know, I'm not making out that this is massively accurate or anything, because obviously there's some give in this, you know, so it's not going to produce the, the most accurate uh, drilling. But for things like, um, wooden battens for shelving and that kind of stuff. This is absolutely ideal, particularly as you can take it where you want it. You don't have to, it's not fixed. Um, so, um, so does it work? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I think we can say that that works pretty well. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you wouldn't use this for highly accurate drilling, but it's certainly as accurate as you get with a, uh, uh, you know, a handheld drill. Um, and uh, say it doesn't take long to to, to make, and uh, it, you know, extremely useful. Um, so anyway, this is just a quick video to 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 show that. Um, and as I said, I'll put links in the description to um, where you can. Uh, get the parts that I've used to make this um, and also the video which shows you 
um, how the guy made it in the first place. So, uh, fun little project. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.